Hi everybody, Keith Mayer from Microsoft here at TechEd North America 2012. I'm here in the Intel booth uh, talking to Jeff about Windows 8 and Intel and some of the better together work that uh, both companies have done together. Jeff, what are you showing and talking to people here at TechEd about? So what we're talking about here today is the consumerization of IT. Consumerization of IT. So that's where people from my organization can bring who knows what into the enterprise. Exactly. It's also known as the bring your own device strategy. Okay. And one of the advantages of IT shops that do embrace the BYOD is they can actually move from a CapEx to an OpEx because you've now put the onus of purchasing the device over to your end users. Okay. But what about security and management? Well, that's the constant tension between an IT, traditional IT shop and their user base. Is how do I go ahead and enable our users using these form factors such as Ultrabooks or the new multi-touch slates while not jeopardizing security. Because you know, when you start looking at, okay, I want to bring in my device and use it for work, how do I manage it, how do I secure it? Now there are a lot of viable strategies that you can use to allow for this consumerization of IT. We could go to some of our partners like Citrix over there and we can go ahead and you know, bring up a MetaFrame environment put a receiver or a client on that device, but it would require a rationalized network secured from probably the rest of the corporate network. Yeah. You have to look at the scalability issues and of course portability issues. Yeah, that's true. As soon as it's going to grow past five or ten users, suddenly we're going into a huge data center upgrade to support lots of users. Exactly. Yeah. And of course we could use a Microsoft solution. Server 2012 you know, scales very well. We could bring up the Hyper CPP server farm. Um, again, using a VDI solution that they can boot into their environment. But again, from a portability standpoint, I got to make sure that I have a broker out in the DMZ, direct access, and it requires that constant connectivity. And we're not really taking advantage of the power of the local Intel No, because we're all being done on the back end. Yeah, so it seems like kind of a waste. Yeah. yeah. In some scenarios, though, it is still a viable solution. Okay. And you know, take advantage of the server hardware that is out there. Okay. Now we could also go back over here to Citrix, and they would be happy to for us to deploy that Zen client, uh -huh. and then have a consumer image as well as a corporate image. But we are then installing software on our users' personal computer, right. and we'll have to train them. What happens if they already have stuff on their local? Machine. We'd either have to have them back it up or we'd have to actually capture that image for them before we deployed it. Are there any other alternatives? So what we're demonstrating in the booth today is the advantage of Windows 8 Enterprise oh, okay. being able to be deployed to a Windows to go state. Oh, is that just a normal USB flash drive? So to do true Windows to go, you do need to have a Windows to go certified thumb drive. Okay. And currently there's one on the market. You look for that certified for Windows to go. Okay. But probably as it nears launch, there'll be other manufacturers as well. Yeah. We expect to see a lot more form factors now thumb drives, smaller ones, that are certified for Windows to go. So what makes Windows to go unique in this scenario? So what this allows them to do is, these are both Windows 7 devices. So I have a Toshiba Portage right, so over here running Windows 7 Home Premium installed on local storage. Okay. I have a Samsung Series 7 Slate Active Digitizer multi-touch device. Both of these are Sandy Bridge Core i5s. Okay. And both run Windows 7 Home Premium. Okay. What I can do is have it boot from the Windows to go Windows 8 Enterprise image, mm -hmm. and using the policies, locking out the local storage, so I don't have to worry about the consumer's data getting onto my corporate network. Mm -hmm. Lockering the thumb drive to make sure that no data loss will happen if it's you know, lost or stolen. If I try to plug that into a Windows 7 device, it shows it's unreadable. Okay. And so they can boot from it. And I can use standard authentication mechanisms, standard management, root policy, config manager, Windows update, whatever the case may be. And I have full function hardware. Now this is a USB 3 stick on a USB 2 port. So it is a little bit slower in boot up and as it's caching things. But once it's loaded, I have full support. Here I am doing the video camera. Again, taking advantage of that Intel hardware set or i5. And that full Windows 8 functionality. And I can do snap. Again, all my standard gestures, I can bring out the charms. Yeah. So, full functionality. Again, over here on the Ultrabook platform, using the hot corners. Again, I have access to all of the hardware. Wow. And what's nice about this, when they sh shut this down, it leaves no residual footprint. They're back into their consumer environment, mm -hmm. so I can have a managed input. So would this be a good scenario for organizations that use contractors or vendors? Oh, definitely. 
one of the common scenarios that we see right. is a contractor comes in to work for an organization, and of course they have a device, but we want to go ahead and give them a managed endpoint, so we ask them to go ahead and put their laptop in their laptop bag, and for six to 12 months, that device isn't being used, we've gone out and purchased one that has our image on there. Yeah. In this scenario, we can give them the corporate image on the thumb drive while they're working in our environment, they can boot up from the thumb drive, it's a managed endpoint, they go home, they go back to their office, they have their managed workspace on their own laptop. So we're spending uh, $100 or so instead of thousands of dollars exactly. purchasing equipment for contractors. And is there, uh, because it's running a uh, full Windows 8 stack, is it still manageable? Like uh, Completely manageable. Okay. Join to the domain, all of your standard group policy objects are going to be applied. You can use Windows Update to go ahead and patch it. It's run as a standard corporate managed endpoint. Well, great. So right well, now it sounds like a great solution. We'll have to look into it in more detail. Thank Thanks you so much, Jeff. Thank you, Keith. And uh, Keith Mayer from Microsoft signing off here at TechEd. Hope everyone has a great rest of your week.